Okay, so let's do some examples. We'll start with nitrogen gas and we'll go through the same steps that we learnt in the last video. So the first thing is to total up the valence electrons. Now we're going to do nitrogen gas N2. So we have two nitrogen atoms. Our nitrogen is group 5. We know it has 5 valence electrons. So with two nitrogen atoms we must have 10 valence electrons in total. So when we get to the end and we've finished our structure we want to have used up 10 valence electrons in the structure. The second step is to look at how many bonds each atom is able to form. Nitrogen, group 5, valence of minus 3, so it forms 3 bonds. So each of these nitrogen atoms is going to want to form 3 bonds. Since there are only 2 atoms, each one of them must form 3 bonds with the other. So I'm going to draw out the skeleton of my molecule like that. This way each nitrogen is forming 3 bonds. Next I check whether the atoms have a full outer shell. Each nitrogen has formed three bonds. There are two electrons in each bond, so that's a total of six electrons for each nitrogen. But it wants eight for a full outer shell, so it does not have a full outer shell. So if each has six and it needs eight, I need to give each nitrogen an extra two electrons. So I'm going to do that by giving each nitrogen a lone pair of electrons, a pair of non-bonding electrons. So each of them now has six bonding electrons and two non-bonding electrons, which is a total of eight. My final step is to check that I've used up the right number of electrons. So I started off with ten from the two nitrogen atoms. If I count up the electrons that I've used up, I have six bonding electrons plus four non-bonding electrons, which is ten altogether. So the electrons in my structure equal the number of valence electrons that I started with. So that's my final structure.